Prince Harry and William coming to blows, Camilla Party, Alison Jackson's controversial exhibition just before King Charles' coronation this coming Saturday. So guys, as we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Artist Alison Jackson has launched her coronation themed exhibition The Crown in London and it is quite controversial. Just a few weeks after Prince Harry claimed that Prince William attacked him, the British photographer has captured the alleged incident while using stand-ins to recreate the scenes. William is seen strangling his brother in more than one picture while the two lookalikes can be heard arguing in one video produced by Jackson. Meanwhile, Camilla has also been the subject of many pictures taken by Jackson who claim why she likes the Queen concert. I love Camilla, she's forthright, racy and fun and she's a party girl who likes to smoke and drink. It is fun to depict a sexy older woman, Jackson said. Alison Jackson has created these images by working with lookalikes, although that doesn't come without its own problems. One problem I have is that my Charles won't go in a, in a carriage with my Prince Harry, Jackson said. He identifies um, with a real King Charles and he doesn't want to do it, and I don't want to upset him at this point. There was also a problem with getting the exact right shade for Harry's hair. She said, we do have a hair problem with Harry as the Harry I use was more hair, has more hair and it's the wrong shade of red, the artist said. I have got him to dye it and ask him to shave it off around the top and back but that didn't do down, go down too well. He told me bug off. The beautiful women are quite easy but it's quite difficult for King Charles, Prince William and Prince Harry. I'm always looking out up for them. There is money in the world of royal lookalikes. Jackson also explained that this can be a very lucrative business. Sometimes people don't want to admit that they look like someone or they might not want to go through the, the border of contacting an urgency but it can make really good money, she said.